Hi, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I feel like I try to do something different with my hair today and I don't know why I've had this curling iron for an entire year and today is the day that I decided to do something to use a different wand and I don't know how it looks. I feel like it's okay. Not what I was expecting, but I'm too lazy. It is what it is. We're already here. We're just going to do Today it. we're going to be talking about perfumes that I feel like glamorous women would wear. This is just kind of like a fun little topic that I thought that I would just kind of do. But like when I think about like someone like super glamorous, like Brianna or Beyonce or, you know, even like Earth and Kit. To be honest, like just those really glamorous, put together women. These are the perfumes that I think about that I think they would smell like if I was ever in the same room with them. This is what I think they would smell like. So if you want to just join me for this little fun video that I decided to do, let's get right into it. The first glamorous perfume that I have here is called Lieb by YSL, but Lieb Lepafum, Lepafum, I'm saying that incorrectly, I'm sorry you guys. The latest release, the one that has saffron in it. Now, up until this point, I did not love Lieb at all. I could not get on the, the train. I did not understand what all the hype the girlies were saying. But then I smelled Lep, Lepafum, Lepaf, Lepafum. I'm sorry, I'm butchering it. And that one had me, has me in an entire chokehold, okay? That saffron note, in my opinion, makes the world of difference to me when it comes to that perfume. It now, I feel like, is like this lavender, sweet, spicy type of scent. I feel like that saffron note really gives it that extra, like, oomph, that extra, like, glamour sophistication that I wish the original Lieb gave to me. So if you don't like Lieb the original, please try the one that I'm talking about. It really, really might change your now, mind. The second perfume that I have that I feel like absolute glamorous women would wear, of course, and I feel like this video wouldn't be this if I didn't include this perfumer, and it is Frederick Mall Lipstick Rose, and just the entire inspiration for this perfume, to be honest, was to symbolize the glamour of Hollywood, and they're getting ready, and they're put on their lipstick, and this is the scent that they would be wearing or the scent that you might smell in their dressing rooms. So, and I completely understand what they're saying. It is a waxy, lipsticky, powdery type of scent. And to me, it smells so nostalgic because if, you know, you ever smelt your mom's back in the day, like lipstick had that very, very waxy smell. That's exactly what it smells like. And I know that might sound off-putting, like you want to smell like wax, like, it's just a different type of smell and just the powderiness of it, the rose in it, everything just, it smells so feminine and ladylike and like you just have your ish together all the time <laughs> is what I picture a woman wearing <laughs> this would look like. And I'm really happy that I discovered it because I know it's not really one that's usually on the forefront so when it comes to Frederick Mall. It's usually Portrait of a Lady and Music uh, music Revisure. So like I, f I went in and I think I had smelled it in the store and I was like taken back and I was like, oh my gosh. And it has like a note of iris in it, which I do love iris in perfumes. So I think that if you like iris in perfumes, I would say test it and get a sample because I believe out of all of the ones I'm talking about, this is one of the most expensive and Frederick Mall really knows how to put a dent in your wallet. What I have here is Gentle Fluidity Gold by my favorite house, Maison Francis Kirk John. And this one is, I think I've described this before, it smells like 
like just picture like liquid gold like utter sophistication the upper enchilant it's just it's like slightly sweet uh has lots of vanilla in it it just smells incredible and intoxicating and i when i first got this perfume i used to wear it a lot like a lot and people used to be like what are you wearing what are you wearing what are you wearing what does that smell like you smell so good just endless endless compliments and i've said this before in my previous videos but mason francis is one of my favorite houses for so many reasons i feel like the quality of the perfumes that's produced, the quality and thought that is put into the bottles is really amazing. The packaging, I I really love when perfume brands think about everything. They think about the packaging of what it comes in. They think about you know the actual perfume bottle itself, the juice inside. Like they actually think about that, and I appreciate brands that are like that. Judge of Fluidity Gold, <laughs> definitely a perfume for glamorous women. Last but not least, this is a really, really new one in my collection, but it was absolute love at first sniff, and it is by Zerjoff, and it's Dama Blanca, and oh my God, was I utterly impressed. That like kumquat note in there, surprising in a great way where it was like i would never think that a perfume with like kumquat in it would smell the way that it smells and it's like a little bit powdery but also has like a sweetness to it with like notes of citrus it just honestly it smells like nothing i have smelt before and i think that it is such an incredible and well blended perfume. It it's more of a spring and summertime fragrance. I will say that because of that citrusy smell, like that fresh. But I don't I don't know how they did it. But it smells so good, you guys. I would recommend getting a sample of it because it's granted. I blind bought this. Okay, I got it for really, 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 really. A really good deal <laughs> so i blind bought it and i have it in the 30 well i didn't you know go too far off the rails and buy the big one i bought the 30 mil and one that's and i'm definitely gonna buy the biggest bottle that they have but it is so phenomenal and i can't believe that i didn't check zershoff out before it's really it's really really good you guys like really 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 good and I think if you like powdery, I think if you like slightly sweet, and I think if you like citrus, you have to get your nose on this and you have to smell it. Just, just smell it and test it and wear it. It's really, really good. Like they did a really good job. Anyways, it's kind of a short video. That's kind of all of the glamorous perfumes that I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know what perfumes you wear that make you feel glamorous and sophisticated and just, you know, like you just have your stuff together <laughs> what perfume makes you you know feel like that i would love to know please make sure you like subscribe and comment and i will see you guys in my next video bye